Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> live. I'm not really. I'm not live. Oh, is there something on my something on my camera? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Live from Florida. It's Saturday night. <laughs> um, yeah, Grandma got on the pole. Yes. Um, it was an incredible experience to uh, be in a room full of ladies that were so incredibly supportive of one another. And... Uh, I was intimidated as hell. I went in thinking, oh my God. But I'm thinking, oh, at the same time, I'm like, what? What's the big deal, right? It's intro class. It's introduction to pole. Uh, there was um, a person there that couldn't even understand what was happening. So I absolutely slayed this fucking class. Uh, interestingly enough, um, my daughter looked exactly like that two and a half years ago. Now she's the instructor. I got a kind viewer saying, why, why? I'm laughing my ass off. Why pole dancing? Why would you, you know, it's like, why? Like, it's interesting how men would ha would ever ask anyone, any woman, why they would want to do a sport, like, and that it was so hilarious. And I'm thinking, we're so um, conditioned in this country, the United States of America, that is, because in the Eastern European countries, pole dancing is well known, which I, I, I replied. You, you're such a fabulous viewer. I appreciate you. I appreciate, I'm glad that you said what you said, because... That is the response of most men and many women, half or more of women. Uh, people think that pole dancing is a vulgar thing that, you know, good girls would never dream of doing. This is a pole sport. I mean, there's uneven bars, there's the rings, there's all kinds of things. This particular dance can be um, created to be very seductive looking and whatnot, and who is it of anybody's business to say that a grown-ass woman can't do that, can't with her body? We're not allowed to do what we want with our bodies without being questioned by total strangers. Like, why would you do that? Uh, because it's absolutely beautiful. It is incredibly freeing. It is incre incredibly liberating to, after decades of feeling less than men and, and or less than whoever, and how dare you think that you look good or, or, or want to uh, express yourself through dance that ha has a pole involved because, ew. Well, you know, I point you to the five-year-olds in Russia, the Ukraine, and wherever that are flipping up and down these poles from the time they're three years old. I mean, they are incredible. This is a sport that the United States, sadly, has not... Uh, accepted as legit. It is incredibly difficult. It takes an incredible amount of practice, dedication, and after two and a half years, my daughter went from looking like I looked in that video to being the instructor of this class, and in fact, I put a couple of clips up after that of her teaching uh, level two. I challenge any man to go do pole. Why? <laughs> because it's fucking incredible um, to to for decades to feel um, ugly or or just stupid or don't want to don't really look at me and, and to be able to go and do that, I'm, I would never go perform this in some kind of club for men. If I get good, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I wanted to put the video up because I promised my people, my YouTube viewers, <laughs> I'm going to get in the poll. I, like a year ago, I said about a year. I, I don't know where I said it, but about a year ago, I said, and I want to be in the poll on the poll within a year. And I couldn't do it because I had thoracic outlet syndrome. I couldn't put any pressure on my arm, neck, and I got this dental splint. I have been on a journey to, to the pole. It was a purpose to get on because seeing my daughter do this has been incredibly healing for me to see her look so elegant and free. She likes, she prefers to do what she calls like ballet pole. She wants to make her own style, but she had to learn all the styles. Like she has to do the, the super sexy, at times vulgar looking things, <laughs> but because they, she needs to be well-rounded and so she can teach other. But the whole idea of feeling okay in your skin, we are sexual beings. And if we want to do this at home or wherever we are, it is our right to do so. And... It, <laughs> I'm just so, I'm incredibly proud of her because she was very closed, very depressed. Uh, 
she would roller skate, you know, on paths and down by the beach. And she loved it. She moved to Florida and, and improved her mental health, her physical health. But she said nothing touched her soul like pole. And I'm a poet now. So nothing, to, and I could see it. She literally blossomed. She got so much uh, self-confidence to where she grew enough internally to go to college. Now she's in college at age 29. And she's, she's working, teaching pole, practicing pole at home, and going to college. She said, I never would have done that without the pole. It literally opened up my world. These women, they're all ages. They come into all sizes. You wouldn't believe we, that this is super skinny to the biggest girls you can imagine getting on this pole for themselves. This is not to impress anyone else, although if you're impressed, <laughs> good. If you're not impressed, that's fine too. If you tried one of these moves, you would be like, wow, I look like a total geek. Yep, because that's how you start out, a total geek. And to face your geekdom and push yourself beyond that, if you're, I mean, if it feels right, I mean, I don't think everybody should pole dance. I think everybody should try it once <laughs> because you just don't know until you do it and you go, wow. I mean, like maybe people say, everybody should skydive once. Oh my God, it was the most incredible experience. Or everybody should try skiing. Or yeah, because that it touches them in a way that nothing ever has. And they, th they just are so passionate about the way that it made them feel inside. That that's, that's my explanation. So I'm, I'm so glad that somebody knew that I was down to earth enough to laugh and say, I can't stop laughing my ass off. Why would you do this, essentially? Why would I not do it? My daughter's an instructor. It's incredible. I'm visiting her from out of state. You're damn sure said I'm gonna get on that pole, especially after I aspired to do it a year ago. I was intimidated. I had so much pain. I'm thinking I'm never gonna be able to do this. I'm so disappointed in myself. Um, and I began uh, the thousands and thousands of dollars. I put it into my mouth and the work it took the breathing exercises to bring myself out of this pain so I can get on that pole with her because someday I'll do a, a couple's pole dance with her, maybe in a year. So stay tuned. We'll be back.